thousand three hundred and eleven, and we're going up Toronto Mountain, which is an elevation of ten thousand four hundred and fifty feet. So getting a lot of it in just twelve minutes. We'll be cruising about six and a half meters a second. For yeah, almost there. Yeah, about six and a half meters a second. I'll say. From this point, for the next probably three or four minutes is where we're going to see the majority of wildlife. There was a moose sighting on the south part of the car. I'll try to point it out for you if I see it. And then when we go a little bit higher up, there's a, a deer as well. So keep your eyes peeled. Feel free to walk around the car. There's a little bit of wind until we get to this tower. But other than that, um, it will be pretty stable. So. Yeah, we're getting uh, some gusts here. Squirrel. But yeah, once we get past this tower, it's not um the winds really kind of die down. So. So yeah, feel free to walk around, ask any questions. I'm gonna play a CD that's gonna go over the the tram the surrounding area, and then from there I'll uh, you know point anything out I see, answer any questions that may come up. to the Jackson Hole Mountain Resort, operating in partnership with the United States Forest Service. This aerial tram, which opened to the public in December 2008, offers the greatest continual vertical rise in any ski area in the United States, as well as a unique view of one of America's finest recreational areas. During the next two minutes, we will rise 4,139 vertical feet and travel nearly two and one half miles to the summit of Rendezvous Mountain. Starting at the valley elevation of 6,311 feet, we travel above forests of aspen, Douglas fir, Engelman spruce, lodgepole, and whitebark pine amidst a carpet of colorful seasonal wildflowers. Along the way, moose, mule deer, black bear, and many smaller animals are often seen. This aerial tram was designed by Maurice Andre, an engineer for Garaventa SeaTech out of Switzerland, and employs machinery from Austria, Switzerland, the Czech Republic, and the United States. Technically, the system is called a double reversible or jetback tram, as the cabins always move simultaneously, but in opposite directions. The system is powered by twin 1,000 horsepower electric motors, and utilizes over 15 miles of steel cable five structural steel towers, more than 200 wheels of various sizes, three independent braking systems, and computerized electronics and weather instrumentation. As one of the safest modes of mountain transportation, the Jackson Hole Aerial Train can deliver up to 600 passengers per hour to the summit of Rendezvous Mountain to enjoy summer and winter recreational activities both in Grand Teton National Park and Bridger Teton National Forest. Characterized by glacial surfs carved in dolomite cliff bands, the natural ruggedness of Rendezvous Mountain is tamed each winter by an average snowfall of over 400 inches. The result is nearly 3,000 acres of unparalleled skiing. The aerial tram yeah, together with the Bridger Gondola and a variety of other lifts offer more expert, land. intermediate, and beginner terrain than most resorts in the United States. When our train car yeah. reaches the summit elevation okay, of 10,450 feet, the, the forest will have given way to tiny slopes and alpine tundra. There are over 200 species of plants native to this mountain habitat. Many species of birds, including golden eagles, hawks, prairie falcons, swallows, white-crowned sparrows, and black rosy finches visit the mountaintop. Seldom visited by larger mammals, golden-mantled ground squirrels, marmots, pythons, pine martens, and red fox make their homes in the rocky terrain of this alpine tundra. Corbett's cabin, located at the summit, offers gifts, souvenirs, and refreshments, including made-to-order waffles. Hiking trails from the summit range in ability from moderately easy to strenuous, including a 7.2-mile route to the base. Please talk to any staff member if you have questions. There we go. Yeah, the lift to our right is Thunder. It's one of our two upper mountain lifts. We'll see sublet on the, the south side, but it's uh, not visible right now, so I'll point it out when we get there. We're coming up on Tower 2. This is where we're going to get the most swing. So just kind of be, be advised, you might feel, you know, swing from front to back. Kind of like the bike and chip ride at your music park. Yeah. <laughs> Wow. 
So uh, to the north side as well, you can see the Kular restaurant. It's closed today and tomorrow for private uh, parties, but if you're in the area and you have a nice, a nice meal, I'd be here man, this one's right out. Um, that's, a, that's a place to go. It's got uh, good food and great views. So you're in the night shift tonight? Uh, tower two. Feel the snow up here. Or you got about three and a half to the top of the 